this is Ronald K4GET and this is my YouTube channel and this is the DIY gravel filter build that I'm going to be putting some plumbing in today installing a couple of uniseals and putting in some plumbing and getting ready for the gravel you can see inside is already done and um, the method inside was provided by loaded operator 7 his idea for the air vent the uh, air manifold so I copied his idea giving him credit for it everything else is mine okay and now here's some plumbing I'm going to be using we put a check uh, check valve a manual check you can't see out here okay there's a check valve there emergency check valve one way an on off switch manual check valve we're splitting it just in case I need an extra line coming in or to clean it or something it's going to be going out one inch to a, a 1800 gallon an hour power or power head or quiet one pump what I'm using this is going to come down and swing around into the pump into the bucket the barrel bucket and then I have a couple more fittings that I've already pre-made one and a half inch for the uh, input into the uh, shower drain that's one and a half to two inches that's going to be my input for the water there's a two inch for the outflow that'll be going back into the koi pond well that's it for now okay for GET fighting the sun here it's hard to see I installed a one and a half inch um, intake with the uniseal that's a two and a half inch hole you have to drill for the one and a half inch uniseal there's the plumbing it's going to come like this there'll be a piece of pipe there it'll come up like this and here's going to be the downspout to my pond that's a two inch so that's a three inch hole for the uniseal and the sun's out again so that's a three inch hole for a two inch uniseal and a two inch pipe that'll go down to the right back into the pond that's it for now well, gee, gee, let's see if I can beat the sun well I installed the one and a half inch uniseal you have to use a two and a half inch hole for a one and a half inch uniseal now this pipe is only uh, the bottom part isn't glued in yet but this is how it's gonna go it'll go up to a one-way valve then a, a ball valve and then a splitter here where I'll be feeding it from the pond and maybe I'll have this for uh, UV sterilizer yet I'm not sure it might just be another pump coming in on the side here is where I'm gonna have my drain back down into the pond that's a two inch uniseal so that was a three inch hole for a two inch uniseal and the pipe again I'll have a downspout here eventually I'm gonna build a waterfall so that'll feed the waterfall but for right now it'll just come down in an L shape into the pond anyway it's almost ready for the gravel so this is Ronald K4GET thank you